Hey y'all, it's Kiarwee, and we are back with another episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we started heading towards that save statue, and now we are heading towards the water dragon. Uh, that's one of my pet peeves about that game. this game. That thing should have taken a heart and didn't. Okay, there's a couple things I have to clarify really quickly, because it might be slightly confusing. Um, I recorded this several, a couple weeks ago actually at this point, and I, so I, I have actually, at the time that I am recording this um, commentary, this is actually post commentary, by the way you're just going to spin attack him twice. Um, at the time that I'm recording this commentary, this is actually getting recorded the day it's going up. I have beaten the boss for Agent Cistern, so I actually had to find a file that uh, started me at least somewhat near uh, Lake Floria. Um, so I had to do that to get this footage because my capture card cut out the first... this part of the episode. Um, actually, you're going to see my stats will probably change in between this and going to where we need to go, which I will explain a little later. So I lost part of my footage, so I had to re-record that before I could post this because I wanted to have a complete walkthrough. I mean, I find it okay to have, like, s cut out some things like flying sequences if it's unnecessary. I have nothing to talk about. But to cut out text and basically what tells you where you need to go, I find would have been unreasonable. So the reason I didn't really upload all this week is because I didn't have time to re-record this. This is the... I mean, this is when I had time to re-record where I'm at. And so that's basically the door to get into the Water Dragon's Chamber. Also, there's going to be even more discrepancy. There's going to be three stats going on the next several... like, within the... Next video is going to be my regular stats. The second video of Ancient Cistern, which is the next true dungeon, the stats are going to be changed again. Because I left my SD card somewhere and do not have access to my save file, and it would have been several weeks before I would have been able to record again. So I just played back to the Ancient Cistern from a previous play file. So we're going to go with that. Um, I actually, um, there are several save databases online. And I'm totally talking through her text. My bad. Um, I am. Those manners address me as with manners address me as Pharaon, though my current stature is less than well intimidating, shall we say. Know that you stand in the presence of a loyal servant of the goddess. Hmm. I say, is that one of my skills you have there? The sacred gifts such as that could be only carried by the goddess's chosen hero. This raises questions, even that skill in your possession, finding my hall is no easy task. Ah uh, yes. That Cackling old hermit Kikui told you where I live. Honestly, I should eat him! I don't know. I, I hit the... Apparently, yeah, she's gonna eat him. I hit the... Uh, button too fast, I guess. Do not mock me, boy! If this is an attempt at humor, it falls on deaf ears. And I am sorry for that audio glitch if you if that's in the final recording there's not really much I can do about that I'm, I'm just lucky I guess um <laughs> my gosh so basically she's saying that Girahim wounded her and seriously these audio glitches are getting on my nerves why 
Oh my gosh. That is horrible. Well, hopefully this is only around for a couple of... A couple more seconds. Um, my only thing is... I recorded this one on a different computer. I'm hoping it's just a connection problem I had with the uh, capture card. Um, I recorded the rest of um, Ancient Cistern on that other computer. Because I was having... I had to borrow a computer because I was having errors with mine. Um, hopefully that isn't in Ancient Sister and I'm hoping it's just something that happened during this specific recording. Um, but oh, there are actually sites that um, have save files and save points, so I actually wound up using one of those prior saves that somebody had. Um, I believed I used the somebody's resource on um, zeldaspeedruns.com. They are fantastic. I love it. I really hate using somebody else's playthrough for mine, but I, I, it was that or play the entire game again. And, and I I couldn't do that, so I'm so thankful that there are sites out there that have save files so that I don't have to play the entire game again. <laughs> um, really quickly, I want to plug somebody that I plugged in the original recording of this segment. What is that be- oh, the dowsing. I didn't even notice because I had my volume down when I recorded it. Um, I want to plug um, Red Devil Dazzy 2007, I believe. I think 2007 is the end of his uh, username. Um, I've been recording a couple of uh, Zelda videos with. Jeez, that beeping's annoying! Um, videos talking about Zelda. Um, Different, the different Zelda games. I'm sorry, I'm not conveying very well tonight. <laughs> or today. It's that in between time. Um, but I just wanted to plug him really quickly because, um, I mean, he, I think I'm guessing quite a few of my um, newer subscribers have come from his channel and I I'm really thankful for that um, and I wanted to give him a plug here because that's it was very it it's fun talking about Zelda sorry my this wouldn't be my ideal time for recording but um, I I switched to Skyview, by the way. Uh, let's meet there. Um, basically, all I would have, all I had done in my original, was I went to the uh, statue and I flew up and I went to Skyview. So that's basically where the transition would have been in the original recording, anyways. Um, basically, what Fee is telling us is that we have um, to find sacred water to heal the water dragon. Because the water dragon has been entered by Girahim. So, we're gonna do that. We're, we're gonna find that sacred water. I know where it is. Do you know where it is? Um, <laughs> but these blessed butterflies actually indicate something. Um, we're going to play the harp here. And uh, there's going to be this symbol on the wall. And we're gonna strike it with a skyward strike. And I, in this part, I'm trying to get bombs. But, uh, I failed. So, <laughs> um, we also meet with the Magmas. Here to do some treasure hunting, too? E nope. You're a terrible liar, guy. You got treasure hunting written all over your face. Could you press A? Thank you. Did the big stone guy out there tip you off to the loot, too? Stone guy? No one's beating me to all the sweet loot piled up in this place. <laughs> yeah, I'm aiming for bombs because my bomb meter is at zero. But, um... Oh, so we're going to try and find sacred water. And I actually, I'd had a theory that you might be able to, um... 
usually drawing a circle would get you bombs that gave me hearts. I don't know how that looks like a heart. Um, but this is where opening up that uh, grate up there really comes in handy so you don't have to go through that other part again. But I had a theory that you could get the sacred water early. Um, Nintendo's smarter than I am and they they planned for people like me who would try and get the sacred water early. So that actually does not work. It will just turn out to be normal water. When you bottle it, you want to say that it's sacred water. Magma! Just fantastic! I work like a weasel to swipe the key from that monster and then I have to go and lose it. I just can't remember which hole I hid then. Oh, and here I thought that key would be my ticket to the life of luxury. I could have sworn that I buried it right around here. And actually, I believe I pointed this out when I came through this area on my first run through of Skyview. Because actually, um, the place where the key is is actually here when you go through Skyview. Good grief. Apparently, I don't do well when I talk and play, which I'm not doing right now, but I'm just saying. Oh, wow, and yeah, my rupee count has really changed. Um, but it's there on your first playthrough of the uh, temple. You just can't do anything with it because you don't have the item to do something with it, which I don't even know why I'm trying to keep it a secret because it's not. I mean, I spoiled it in the first several episodes. It's in a hole. You got the small key. And basically if you tried to go straight across that log and try to progress in the dungeon, you wouldn't have been able to because there would have been a small key. Um, I think, yeah, I'm trying to get their name again, even though I already got their name. I forgot that I got their name. I, I forgot that I got their name. That, that just sounds weird. Um, they're called Frokes, in case we forgot, just because that one really creeped me out and I just was like, what is your name again? So yeah, they're Frokes. Um, I guess they're supposed to be like some frog hybrid. I don't know. Um, we're going to be getting in some really interesting enemies coming up in uh, the next dungeon. And... I think there might be some interesting ones in the ones, the dungeon after that. I'm not positive though. There's one that I really like in the uh, final, not the final dungeon, but the one before that. But it's like, you know how Zelda games like you have Ganon's Tower and that sort of thing. The the last tr the last dungeon that you do in the main achievement line. Like the spirit temple, as opposed to Gan's Tower. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't speak. Um, okay. So we're just going to bomb these guys. I think I have a little bit of trouble with it, if I remember correctly. Because they keep shooting me. But I can't really do much to them. They also shoot down the beetle, which you'll see in a couple seconds, minutes, however long it takes me to do this. I probably should have edited this down. That probably would have been smart but I mean you guys like watching my pain right <laughs> right <laughs> yeah yeah oh by the way when I was plugging Red Devil Dazzy his links going to be in the description I just hit my microphone for no apparent reason uh, so then I tried to get further away to get them um, but basically the area with the sacred waters that's unfair. Basically, the area with the sacred water is just beyond the boss door, actually. And then I tried to see if I can kill him by hitting him with the beetle. I really should have edited this out, but that's okay, because you guys like hearing me talk. I mean, that's basically what Let's Plays are, because a million people have finished Sky Skyward Sword by now. So, I mean... You, you guys enjoy hearing me talk. I mean, it's fun, and we have a good time, and we're like buddies. It's like, hey, it's like, hey. 
I don't even know anymore. I'm so frustrated with the problems I've been having with recordings. I, I just don't even know. Um, when I have the money to, I'm going to be getting a new capture card. Because right now I use a cheap $20 one. And just that thing at the beginning of the... Uh, the let's play... Oh, hey, mom. Jeez, I dig several, some serious miles to get my paws on treasure and I've found squat. Talk about bad luck. I think some no good thief beat me to the goods. That's nothing something. Who in the stinking world would come all the way for water? Nobody, that's who. Actually, me. I'm cutting my losses and heading home. See ya. But... After that problem with the uh, beginning of this episode, the audio, and just the video quality of this, I'll be getting a new capture card when I can. Um, and hopefully, ho hopefully things will get better from there. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to talk about that I actually forgot to talk about in this recording originally was that... I'm kind of planning my next LPs, but I'm not sure if you guys are going to be happy about it because I've gotten a lot of questions about when I'm going to continue uh, Twilight Princess. And the problem right now is a couple of things. I really want to do the Zelda games in order. Now, now that I've started Skyward Sword and that's kind of the prequel, I wasn't thinking that when I started my channel, plus Skyward Sword hadn't come out and I really wanted to start my channel. But, um, and I had chosen Twilight Princess because I really enjoyed the game. Problem is, Salfos. Um, this is actually another Ocarina of Time reminiscent, uh, battle of the Stalfos in the Forest Temple, and actually, I think I pointed out, this uh, temple is referred to as the Forest Temple on the map. Anyway, so, one of my problems is, I don't have my copy of Twilight Princess on me, I loaned it to somebody, and I have not gotten it back. Um, and the best tactic with this boss is going to be throwing bombs at it, at them, and then slashing them when they're down. But I really want to do them in order, and I don't think I'm going to do Minish Cap. I might. No, I probably won't do. I I probably won't do any handheld games. The problem being, I don't. I don't do emulators because I just don't agree with piracy. And it, and it is piracy, the emulators that is stealing the game. Um, I mean, even if you own the game, you're technically not supposed to be downloading the online copies that people put up. The other thing is, I've finished so few of them. Um, I've played through most of Oracle of Ages. I've played through part of Minish Cap part of Seasons, and most of Link's Awakening, but I haven't finished any of them. And I just don't think that I'd be able to do them justice. Granted, Zelda 2 and um, the original Zelda would probably be blind unless I can find time to do them, to play them before and have a practice. But I also, the only um, handheld game that I can think of. Oh, and I don't even, I, I played through part of Phantom Hourglass and part of Spirit Trucks. I, no, strike that, reverse it. I played through part of Spirit Trucks, none of Phantom Hourglass. I also don't have the ability to record from the DS, so even though I have Minish Cap and I have Link's Awakening DX, I can't record in good quality that way. I just, like, I, I wouldn't feel good putting up those videos. It just it would not be good quality. So that's another reason. So I'm going to do the console games in timeline order. 
which means Ocarina of Time would be next. Which I would actually really like to do. Um, Twilight Princess I kind of got burned out on because of all the problems that I had with it. So I kind of want to give that a rest. And let me know if you absolutely do not want me to give it a rest. I mean, I can do it next if, if there really is a demand. Because I know I've gotten quite a few people asking me when I'm going to finish Twilight Prin When I'm going to continue Twilight Princess. And part of the problem is I don't have it. But um, the video has ended on my end. So you're just going to be seeing black screen. So I guess this is going to be the end of the part. Um, I'll try and talk more about that in a later episode. It'll be several episodes away. But um, just let me know if you want to hear about, if you really want me to continue Twilight Princess or if you think it would be cool if I continued to Ocarina of Time. Uh, just drop me a comment or a message. Um, if you like this part, please subscribe, comment, or like, and I'll see you all later.